They ought not be noticed. But when they get noticed, it's like, oh, the guys sing. They sound pretty right there on that net. If they, right? So the, the, ease, the least noticed things become the most challenging. Let's go to, quickly to another portion of that where we have more uh, sound. Pleasures invade. This is at D on page five. Make louder consonants. Pleasures and <gasps> Please don't be offended, but I think that was beautifully done from a sort of an academic standpoint. But I'm not moved by it, so I want you, I'm giving you permission to be less perfect, get out of the box, and let me see how it would sound, or you, show us how it would sound if you meant it, which is to say that the transports in this text means the feelings. The transports are incredibly strong feelings, those wow feelings that are just like, Okay? That kind of a feeling. And so the text is incredibly powerful. If we say, feast, say, feast, 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 this whole thing, I just am not going to be able to stand it. Right? It's got to be that much love when your heart is just boom, boom. Pleasures in vain. quite good singing. It's founded on the fact that you know how to play your instruments well. You've been taught well how to play your instruments. So it allows you to do things like that. I'm just saying, keep working. I know it's October. God bless you. It's a beautiful performance of that piece. Quickly then on to uh, O Grief. Can we get those first pitches, please? Would you do me the favor of conducting this one more time? I could do just for a few minutes. So, trick question, is this in English? Is this piece in English? Trick question. Uh, but he wants us to say no, because he said it was a trick question. See, so, yeah, it is in English, but only sort of, right? Somebody tell me, why is it only sort of in English? It's Old English, right. And so, do any of us ever walk down the hall and say, Oh grief, e'en on the bud that fairly flowered, the sun hath lowered, and ah, we're having tater tots for lunch. No, not gonna happen. And so, and this is really pretty important with pieces like this, we almost have to sing it as if it, because it is indeed in a foreign language as it relates to how it's expressing a feeling. So we have to sort of translate. The other thing we have to do is probably a slightly, I'm just going to say, more formal vocal approach. Being especially careful, I'm going to get to a specific thing here. Diphthongs and flaw, flaw, more care to those. And the American R is creeping in. Okay? So, see if we correct that. Oh, green.
Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful, quick correction. And it's a fairly simple thing, but it's pretty important here. And then we have to work, I think, doubly hard to make sure that at least the syllables are clearly understood, and then we have a chance to get meaning. All right? Would you help me congratulate and thank you?